Uh, my name is John Kowala. I'm the Vice President of Sales, Marketing, and Business Development Worldwide for Z Corp. We're based in Burlington, Massachusetts, which is uh, close, close to Boston in the United States. Z Corp manufactures three-dimensional printers, which are devices that allow people to take three-dimensional CAD data and very quickly create a prototype for design evaluation. Our process works in that a, a, very si a single layer of powder is deposited onto a bed. The, the thickness of that layer, layer is 0 0.089 millimeters. So it's a pretty thin layer, is spread, and then an inkjet printhead uh, deposits a binder or glue onto each layer of powder. And what it deposits is actually in the image or the cross section of the part that's going to be built. So that's one layer. So you complete that one layer and then another layer of powder comes across and the next image is printed onto the next layer and it builds up the part. So once all those layers have been completed, the user generally reaches in, into the bed of powder and pulls out the part. So the entry level system that we have is the 310. The build volume is 200 by 250 by 200 millimeters. And it's a monochrome machine, so it allows people to print in one color. So they could print a white part or a blue part or a yellow part, but just one color at a time. The second machine in our offering is the Spectrum Z510, a little bit bigger build volume, which is 250 by 350 by 200 millimeters. Higher resolution, so it actually prints at 600 by 540 DPI. And the most compelling difference with the, with the Spectrum is that it prints in full color. I'm a David Tedder, product manager for Z Corporation out of Burlington, Massachusetts. So here we have a concept model of a defibrillator. Uh, this model really shows and uh, uh, exemplifies the value of what a concept model can be and shows a lot of value of color in the communication process. So very quickly we can get this in someone, a user's hands and they will be able to identify um, whether it feels right, whether they're going to move it, handle it. Uh, so this shows the value of color. We can, uh, in that the 510 uh, prints a full color model, we're the only ones that do that. Uh, so we can easily uh, identify between different, different features on a model. Uh, we can, and having the ability to do this with concept modeling, uh, so this is a flexible part. Uh, we have the ability to print uh, many materials on the Z-Corp machines. Uh, this is a rubber boot that would go over a U-joint and uh, sort of exemplifies just the versatility that you can get out of one machine. So one of the many appli applications where Z-Corporation really excels is in the medical field. Uh, in this model, um, we quickly can see uh, color contrast, which here shows uh, it's a bone density plot. So this is a, a model of a, uh, a child that only had a one ear canal, and a doctor can easily go in and uh, help in the pre-planning of surgery to evaluate what needs to be done. So this model really shows the, the power of communication that a solid model can have for design and evaluation process. This model is an architectural model. Uh, what's really nice is that we can remove the roof, see into the structure. So within the traditional mechanical CAD market, this is the type of model that would be built, uh, where you have an assembly of parts put together, and the use of color here communicates quite a bit. You can easy, easily see complexity, cost, how difficult it would be to assemble, uh, and ultimately uh, how much it would uh, cost to manufacture. 